Welcome to the 360 Sports Network Road to the Final Four podcast series, where we look at all those conference championships up there and figure out who gets the automatic bid and who will be left dancing by themselves. Before we can fill that field in 68, we have to first look at these conference championships. And tonight, we're going to look at the Southland Conference. The Southland Tournament will be everybody versus the Lumberjacks. Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, no doubt the team to beat in the conference this season. They went 26-3. and Their strength of schedule, really not that good. They have no chance in that large bid. But they've beaten the teams that they need to this year. They had two conference losses this season, both on the road. One to Southeast Louisiana and one to the two-seed, Northwestern State. The Lumberjacks are led by their senior forward, Taylor Smith. He's listed at 6'6", but he plays like he's 6'10 or 6'11". He leads the team with 15.5 points per game, 9 rebounds per game. However, his Achilles heel is free throw shooting. He shoots just 48% from the charity strike. He does lead a solid starting five who put up one of the best shooting percentages in college basketball. They don't get too much scoring off the bench, however, and that could be an issue if and when they make it to the NCAA tournament. I'm also a big fan of the little guy, 5'11", Hal Bateman. He averages 6 assists per game. The Lumberjacks as a whole average 16 dimes per game, and that makes them tough to beat because they all help each other very well they all make each other better out there on the court, and that's what makes a good team, especially for a mid-major team like Stephen F. Austin. Now, the only team to beat the Lumberjacks this year, well, the only team that has a chance to beat them, is a team that beat them already, Northwestern State. They won't stop Stephen F. Austin scoring, but they just have the capability to outscore them. The Demons are the highest scoring team in college basketball, 82.5 points per game. They shoot very well, 46% as a team. They rebound well, they're ninth in the country. And they pass it well, 16 assists per game, just, just a couple under the Lumberjacks for the entire season. They put up points on, they put points on the board. What, what else can you say? They're built very similar to the Lumberjacks as well. A couple of big guys, Daquan Hicks, uh, James Holbin, but they also have a small, quick point guard in Jalen West who dishes the ball out very well. This could be a very interesting championship matchup. Who do you go with, though? I have to go with the team that's been consistent all year, and that's the three-loss team. I have to go with the Lumberjacks. I do, uh, it's tough not to go with the high-scoring Northwestern State team. Seeing them in the dance would be fun, but so would a three-loss mid-major. Either one would be interesting to look at for a first-round matchup. It will be interesting to see where either one of those teams ends up. Really, we don't know where. All I know is that we will see just how good the Lumberjacks are when they play Northwestern State, and then when they play probably a two or three seed, maybe even a one seed, in the tournament itself. Well, that's it for looking at the Southland Conference Tournament. Keep tabs at 360sportsnetwork.com. Follow us on Twitter at 3S Network as we look at all those conference tournaments as we break down all of the big teams. All 68 teams will be broken down and will help make your bracket be the best it can be. Maybe we can win you a little money in your office pool. For 3SN, I'm James Dodson. Good evening.